Hello, pickup truck and SUV fans. Sebastian Roll here. I'm with the fabulous Jill Simonello in a very snowy and cold Denver. We're in the F-150. It's the diesel. And it's kind of fun. Um, what I love about having Jill on the podcast, on the channel, is she doesn't have all that experience in trucks. And so she has never towed before. I've never towed before. And so we're towing. We have 5,500 pounds behind us. Is We're in the three liter uh, power stroke diesel. And I was giving her some tips. And obviously her being the smart journalist said, hey, dumbass, record this. You, you should be recording this. So so, yeah. so here's my top towing tips to somebody who hasn't towed before. Is number one is the, the you have, we have towing mirrors. And you have specific mirrors because they have two mirrors, one on top, one below. Yeah. The bottom mirror is going to be a, like a blind spot monitor kind of mirror, but you're going to use that to see your trailer tires. Also, everything you do is going to be wider, turns. All the turns are wider. You take your time. And everything you do as far as acceleration, braking, and turning is going to be feel like sluggish, three-quarter speed. It's going to be <laughs> slow. It's going to be controlled. Uh, you don't cut any corners. Dang it. Uh, it's not, you don't take off fast off the line. Uh, yeah, people give zero to 60 times for trucks. Nobody tows that way. Because the reason why is it's not just the truck will take off fast, but your cargo and whatever you're hauling will <laughs> fall back and forth. You, yeah. I mean, so you, that's why you want control take off. So things don't, you don't, whatever we have back there. Um, we have China back there. We, you don't want the have, China. I was like, in theory, we have horses back there. Yeah. We're, we're towing right, a, a horse trailer. trailer. Yeah. So whatever it uh, is, that's why you don't take off fast. Because you don't want the cargo in the back to, uh, to fall back and forth. You're also going to find the truck is going to hop a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Typically, when you do three quarter ton and one ton, especially dualies, the load doesn't hop, especially if you're doing like a, a, a much lesser weight than the capacity of the truck. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're about a half the capacity of the truck. Uh, spec'd out, that's in two wheel drive, probably not this configuration. I bet you if I looked up the math, we're probably three quarters of the load. Okay. You're going to feel some hoppiness because the load on the back is going to push you forward and the load, and you're going to be moving forward. Um, right. Now, and I felt it when we were when I was in the passenger seat. I felt the yeah. And I was going to ask you if that was normal. It's very normal towing. Okay. Um, you can adjust that a little bit. We do have a trailer brake controller in this. Mm -hmm. What the trailer brake controller does is actually will uh, add additional braking force to the trailer and makes it a little bit smoother. Okay. But it, it's just it's it's part of towing. Mm -hmm. um, it's you don't get freaked out about that. You will have sometimes coming off the line, you'll jerk a little bit, and that's some of the acceleration trying to pull the load smoothly. Okay. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I don't know. You can adjust trailer brakes. I'm not sure. We can see where we're at. Yeah, we're already at uh, 6.5 in a trailer brake gain. And what's interesting about trailer brakes is if you do a lot of research on them, there is no standard. It's personal feel. And that's only acquired through experience. <laughs> so, Which I have none. Right? This is going to be hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So, and then, we will not be filming while I'm driving. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> so I mean, those are my tips. Uh, there's usually a tow haul mode. What that's going to do okay. is change transmission and change the acceleration so that you, you can't stomp on it. Um, so we'll be in tow haul mode. Yep. And, and, and towing is it's pretty easy to do. You just got to realize that you have a load behind you. You're going to feel it in your butt. You're going to feel the load dragging. It, it, it's just going to be there. And as long as you take your time and you're smooth, you shouldn't have any problems. And we're going to say that now. Famous last words. We'll be back, uh, yeah. There will, no, like I said, there will be no filming while I'm driving. We'll circle back when we're done, and we'll uh, t Tim will Tim will give me a grade. He'll tell me how I did. Okay. All right. Deal. Good. Okay. All right, we're just finishing our loop in the F-150 diesel. We have uh, Jill, who has completed her first drive ever towing. So uh, as she pulls to a stop, I want to make sure she is fully aware of what's going on. <laughs> so I'm not going to distract her at all. Curb check! All right. No, no curb check. Actually, not even one curb check. So what did you think towing? Uh, you know, it, it's definitely... Um, you have to be a little bit more cautious and a little bit more aware of what you're doing. Uh, I was saying it, it's kind of like you need to pretend you have eggs everywhere and you don't want to the eggs to fall over and break. Yeah. And, and did you feel the load behind you and you were able to feel it? I, I did feel the load behind me, but of course, because I'm such a smooth driver, I didn't feel the hop as much as I felt it when you were driving. Yeah, the, I like the hop. <laughs> Hop's good. It's like a dance. Like the hop, hop, hop. I, I don't know. Uh, it could make somebody car sick. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll work on that future episodes. <laughs>
<laughs> Any other thoughts on towing? Um, you know, the turns are definitely difficult. Uh, it, it took a while for me to take a minute to, to really realize how wide you have to be and where you have to position the tires to um, not hit anything, which I didn't do, by the way. And uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's different. It's weird. I would definitely have to be doing this a lot more to get used to it. I certainly would not want to do this in Chicago yeah, at all, yeah, even sure. a little bit. Uh, I would I would probably take out buildings um, if, I, if I were trying to do this. And uh, we did not actually have a really heavy load behind us, so I imagine that's probably also very different. Yeah, when you go a heavier and longer, the different different towing experience, but we were talking about in drive is that when you make a turn, you aim your outside tire to the outside white, white line. You take the really long turn around out. Mm -hmm. You cheat a little bit. You go over that line a little bit. It's totally fine. Nobody's going to pull you over for that. It's just going to make that load go smoother going around the turn. Right. So overall, how did I do? I think you did good. I'm going to give you a A. I was going to say, if you were going to say B, I'd have to break your kneecaps. Because I knew you'd break my kneecaps. No. No. But I mean, I think I was an A. Like, I didn't yeah. hit anything. No, I think I, you did good. Yeah. I, I think the only thing that you criticized me on was there was one turn, it was a right turn that I made, where I turned wide, like you told me to, but I should have kept it a little bit tighter so that people could pass. Yeah, there was a little bit like a, a long turn right, and there mm -hmm. was like a little, like a passing lane. Mm -hmm. And when you're at a trailer, you got to... I always think about the other, the people behind me. Right. Let them go by. Let them go out of the way. They're going to be mad at you. So if you don't do that, somebody's going to make a dumbass pass. Right. They're going to pass you in double yellow. They're going to freak you out. You'll be standing on your brakes. It's going to happen because they're going to get some road rage behind you. Right. And so let them go by. And uh, it's usually just a courtesy thing, but it's going to save you some stress too. Right. So I think if with if that was the so I didn't get an A plus, but I would say it's solid A. Yeah. I had no concerns. I was uh, I was you were towing confidently. I was towing confidently. All right, so if you want more Pickup Truck and SUV news, especially with us, we happen to do a podcast. You should listen. It's a good time. Uh, check it out at PickupTruckTalk.com, uh, Facebook, Twitter, social media, and all that kind of stuff. Pickup Truck Talk and SUV or plus SUV, it's all the variations of that, whatever they require me to do. And uh, you know what? We'll see you down the road.